So we made it to the north fork of the Catherine Creek Trailhead and getting ready. There's a vault toilet over there. Let me walk over here. So there's one other person here. And it looks like they get a lot of horse use here. Um, so the bridge across the creek goes to Squaw. I think it was Squaw Creek Trail, three miles down that road. But um, yeah, the vault toilet is nice. It was nice. It's not maintained anymore for the season. So bring your own toilet paper. We pretty much used the last of it. But um, there we are. $5 if you don't have a park pass. And the trail starts over here. And it is 37 degrees, 9.50 in the morning. It's chilly. So we are getting on trail 1905, North Fork Catherine Creek Trail. So I don't know why we can't park down that road. I guess we'll find out. But um, that's the road we came in on. Should be fun. So there's probably half a dozen tent sites in this campground. And there's a circle turnaround here for horse trailers, it looks like. But here's the trail. And North Catherine Meadow is five miles. Minam River is 14 miles. And I think we're gonna follow the creek. We cross it once and I'm pretty sure there's a bridge. But there's one other car here hiking so far. Oh no, two. There's two. There's a truck where we parked and a car up here. Should be fun. Ah, uh, these trees are neat. So the creek is down there. And here's the trail. It definitely feels like fall. So we are on the far western end of the Swiss Alps, the little Swiss Alps mountains, I call it, or is what they call them, the Blue Mountains, east of La Grande and south of Enterprise in Joseph, Oregon. And my guess. I think they're about 50 miles long, the mountain range, and 20 miles wide, roughly. Maybe 25. No, I would say 20. So maybe 60 by 20. They're pre pretty big. Jeez. That scared me. comes blue magic she's wearing blue today there's the river down below and I wonder so you see a um, mountain in front of us I wonder if we're going to the top of that or if that the meadows at the base of that can't remember how steep this trail is or we're going around it Uh, we made it to the bridge. It's about one and a half, one and two thirds miles from the trailhead. Wow. That is neat.
I don't know which side to look at. We just made it to the Eagle Cap Wilderness for about two and a half miles from the trailhead parking lot. Possibly two and a, two and two thirds. So we're at least halfway done with this trail. Not too bad so far. Haven't seen anyone yet. It's very wet soil and there's some duff so it's actually pretty easy on the feet so far which is nice. Oh, look at the trees. Blue sky today. It, it seems like fall still. So the wind is just whipping. You hear the trees creaking and the needles falling. This is a super nice trail. So it's pretty level toward the middle top. The first couple miles is the steep part, I feel. We went about four miles, one mile left, and maybe. 300 feet elevation gain, maybe. And it is a little after noon. And we're at 5,200 feet ish. And so I believe the top is around 5,500, 5,700. Oh. Now that we have a stove and can make hot food, I really look forward to eating. <laughs> it's really fun. You can probably hear the wind, maybe. I haven't seen a soul yet. The trees are sure making lots of creaking noises out from the wind. Oh, we're almost to the meadow. Look at this view. Just incredible. Oh, I'm getting tired. Wow. Look at that. Amazing. Oh my gosh. We made it to Catherine Meadows. So I think the cabin is, I'm not even sure where the cabin is. Um, we talked to some people and they said it's boarded up now. So there used to be two cabins. The one on this side is collapsed. You can't even see it. This is amazing though. Know? Uh. Beautiful. So there's a bunch of trails that um, you can access if you keep going down this one here. But this is just incredible. Let me show you the uh, camping area they have here. So there's our stuff. We're going to eat lunch here. And check this out. Like how cool would this be to camp right here? Except someone put a fire ring 
where I would put a tent. Oh, you know what? This is, you sit around the fire and you put your tent over here, I guess. Yeah, this is way cool. Super cool. Wow. So I bet in the summertime, this is used every night. That is cool. Uh, so I'm sitting on the log, just gonna get some video. It's kind of chilly in the wind. It's probably, it might be in the 40s. We put our, our jackets on our outer layers. But we're gonna make some ch um, chili mac. We might have to make two meals to warm us up. But I will hold the camera steady for as long as I can. Hard to pick a point. I think I like this angle the best. So we got our jet boil set up. We're gonna add the water and our food over there. So here's our chili mac with beef yeah i'm not a fan of the dried beef i i just don't feel like it's real beef i'm not really sure i like the chicken it tastes real but the beef tastes different to me it's not bad though i mean when you're out hiking and it's chilly chilly out there's our view a little fire ring there So we are headed back to the parking lot and it has gotten cloudy. Hopefully the, it wasn't supposed to rain until tomorrow maybe. So hopefully the forecast has not changed. But um, we saw two people today, so that's probably gonna be it. They were checking on a bridge that was broken. But it looks like this will be a 10 and a half mile hike with around 1,500 foot of elevation gain, maybe 1,700. Oh, and I'm gonna be tired. We've done, done some nice hikes this week. But this is the same wilderness where we were two days ago. Eagle Camp Wilderness, Blue Mountains. All right, I'm gonna put this away through this rocky area. I think we're almost back, maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, probably 10. I think less than half a mile. So this is probably the last shot of the river on this hike. It is a neat river really um, loses elevation fast. Huh, we are back to the start of the trail. So we did 10 and a half miles and I'm gonna guesstimate about 1700 feet elevation gain cumulative. I will update that in the uh, description if I'm off. But um, yeah, this is kind of a cool little campground here. 
Can you imagine camping here? But here comes Blue Magic. Can you wave? All right, we're gonna end this. Hopefully the camera picked that up. Um, thanks for watching.